There are a million ways you can be tempted to squeeze a few more minutes or hours out of your day. But if you want to stay healthy, you should remember one thing. You can't cheat sleep. If you do, you may throw off what's called your circadian rhythm. I'm Dr. Nada, and I created the Integrative Health Program at Mass General Hospital, and I'm the founder of Sage Tonic, an innovative natural treatment and wellness toolbox. Welcome to this episode of Spartan Health. Circadian rhythm, what is it? Well, it's also called your sleep-wake cycle, and it's the physical, mental, and behavioral changes that follow a 24-hour daily cycle in your body. One of the chemical or hormone mechanisms that's central to circadian rhythm is melatonin. It's a hormone that induces sleep. When the optic nerves in the eye receive less light, it triggers a signal to the brain to make more melatonin. When that happens, for example, when the lights go out and you go to bed, that natural hormone release can be affected, which in turn can negatively affect your circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythms influence hormone release, eating habits, even body temperature, just to name a few. Having an irregular rhythm has been linked to some chronic health conditions like sleep disorders, obesity, diabetes, depression, and something called seasonal affective disorder, or SAD. And I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute. But those irregular rhythms will also affect your physical performance, your endurance, and your cognitive health. So how much sleep do we need? We talked about this in another episode, and if you remember, it can vary a bit by age. According to the National Sleep Foundation, you need an average of seven to nine hours of sleep each night. To maintain healthy sleep patterns, one thing you should do is keep consistent bedtime habits as much as possible. So how do you do that? Well, trying to go to sleep at roughly the same time each night is a great start. Another way, putting away your phone at night and not looking at computer screens in the hours before sleep because it can disrupt that sleep-wake cycle. So, since the question has come up with some of our listeners before, I wanna go back and talk about seasonal affective disorder, which some people also call the winter blues. Well, there's an easy, natural treatment for it, and it's something you really wanna address because it can lead to depression when you get less exposure to sunlight during the winter months. So, one great, easy, natural treatment is light therapy or phototherapy. And it's where you use a bright lamp with a strength of 10,000 lux, L-U-X. And that's the strength of the light that's emitted from the lamp. And you just have to sit in front of it for about 20 to 30 minutes in the morning when you're having your morning coffee or tea. What this does is it can decrease the amount of melatonin that's secreted from your brain during the daytime, and it helps to reset that circadian rhythm. Our busy schedules can often distract us from good daily routines and disrupt our circadian rhythm. So all you've got to do is be conscious about keeping a regular bedtime and take some easy and natural treatments and steps that can help you keep a healthy sleep-wake cycle throughout the year. So maintaining and supporting your circadian rhythm means you will become much more alert, you'll be better prepared for your next race, and you'll be more effective at whatever challenge comes next. So thanks for listening to this episode of Spartan Health. Again, I'm Dr. Nada, and I'm here every Sunday. I'm part of the Spartan Up podcast family. Spartan Up has a lot of new episodes almost every day of the week. We give you tips, information, and tools to help you stay on track. And we have interviews with inspiring high achievers every Tuesday with Joe and his team. So at Spartan, we're here for you, and we're your partner in resilience training for mind, body, and spirit. Thanks for listening.